Have you ever felt lost in the countryside? Or have you ever not gone to a new place you wanted to visit for fear of getting lost? Let's learn how to go to the countryside orienting ourselves with a map and a compass. First, we should know where we are. Then, we will look for north with the magnetised needle of the compass. We will align north on the map with north on the compass to orient the map. And with the map oriented, everything fits much better, doesn't it? Now I want to go from this point to this other. I place the compass on the map with the direction of travel arrow pointing the way I want to go. Then I turn the graduated compass dial so that the orienting lines are lined up north, parallel to the grid on the map, which in Spain always lines up with north. By turning around, I will match the arrow on the compass dial with the magnetized needle, and I will proceed in the direction indicated by the bearing of the travel arrow. When we start to walk, it's better to check the map often, especially at each junction. Although some may not be on the map, remember, the map is a simplified representation of the territory. Logically, the terrain is much more complex than a map. To check that we're going where we want to, it's useful to check the roads and their crossings, but also check if we should go up or down the road, if we've passed through a valley, a hill or high part, elements such as buildings or springs that are nearby, high voltage networks, if they're on the right side of the road. Therefore, it's helpful to get familiar with the map symbols. However, if we do not get on well with my friends, the map and the compass, there are always the apps. You should have said that before. You can use the Mapas de España app, which is very good to go into the countryside and not get lost, although there are others. We load the track that we've previously downloaded from a web page of routes like the Scenic Download Center or one a friend has sent us. We connect the GPS in our mobile. We recommend putting it in the GPS only mode so you don't waste data and save battery. And if the route is going to be long, it's better to put it in airplane mode to optimize battery use. To avoid signal issues, download the map before setting out so that it's available offline. And now it's time to follow the route we've loaded. And now, enjoy your natural environment. But remember, be very respectful with animals, plants and rocks. Do not take or leave anything. And always take a plastic bag with you for your trash. But do not leave any trace but your tracks. <laughs>